YouTube Studio, formerly called Creator Studio, is the dashboard of any YouTube channel where you can control your channel's performance, videos, lives, and shorts. If you are a YouTuber, social media manager, or use YouTube for your brand, you probably have come across YouTube Studio. If you are still in the research phase to set up your channel, read on. Let's get started. YouTube has created YouTube Studio for content creators to manage their channels. First, let's see where you can find YouTube Studio within YouTube. Log into your channel, click your YouTube icon button on the top right, and choose the YouTube Studio option. You're in. Let's see how to manage the control panel. Don't worry, it's infinitely less complicated than an aircraft's control panel. By default, you enter the main page, where you see all the data and analytics of your channel, published videos, and latest comments. It's also where you'll see tips or messages from YouTube itself, messages of encouragement, milestones achieved, or recommendations. Thank you, YouTube. But there's more. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. You will find all the options in the left column where you can manage your channel. What will you find and what can you do with these options? Content. Here you have a summary of all the videos you've uploaded. You can see the information by the number of views, video interactions, comments, and likes. This section should help you identify what kind of videos are the ones that get more attention from your audience. Take note, find a pattern, and replicate it in your next videos. Playlists. From here you manage the playlist you've created. You can change the order of the videos, create lists from scratch, and add descriptions or subtitles. Here you can find everything related to playlists. Let's continue. We then find analytics to obtain the main metrics related to your channel. Overview, reach, engagement, and audience. You can see what's happening in real time as well. In short, this is the best option to know how your audience behaves. Comments. As the name suggests, it's the place to manage all the comments received. Everything together to quickly answer the comments to keep building a good and trustworthy relationship with your audience. In the next section, you can add subtitles titles in the language of your choice in your published videos. And now it's time to customize your channel. Create a trailer for those who land on your channel. Choose a featured video for subscribers or add a section. You can also add your channel's logo, banner, and basic information. You will also find a section for copyright. Here you can inform YouTube if another user has uploaded a video that belongs to you or your company. In this section you can access all your requests and easily claim by filling out a form. You can also find other options, such as how to monetize your YouTube channel, or an audio library with music playlists and royalty-free effects for your videos. As you can see, with YouTube Studio, you are in control of your YouTube channel, so you can make decisions and analyze or create content and playlists. However, beware! This does not mean that YouTube Studio is the only tool for managing your channels. There are alternatives. If you merge the use of YouTube Studio with Metricool, you'll be impressed with the results. Metricool is the Swiss army knife for social media professionals, a tool to analyze and schedule your YouTube content. Also, if you manage other social media profiles and want to save time and manage all your social media strategies from the same place, Metricool is for you. Analyze the performance of your videos, download customized reports, and keep a close eye on your competitors' strategies. What do you say? YouTube Studio and Metricool are a great combo for your YouTube strategy. See you in the next video, Metricooler!